Hello guys, welcome back to our channel and here is the another video about trusses. There are some members which don't carry any load or force in trusses. If we can first identify them, truss analysis using the method of joints will be very simplified. And they are called zero force members. If they don't carry any load, then why do we need them? Basically, zero force members add stability to the system and they provide support if the loading will change. To understand it better, let's take a look at this picture. For example, if we draw the free body diagram of this portion, it will be like this where lights are 100 Newton. And let's for now assume that this member is a zero force member, but if for some reason we had to change the position of 100 Newton stage light to this location, then that member won't be a zero force member anymore. Let's learn how to identify the zero force members. But before diving into the details of zero force members, I want to show you this heartbreaking video about zero force members. There are two conditions for a member to be zero force. First is when only two members that don't lie on the same line form the joint and there is no external force then they are zero force member. Remember, if they don't lie on the same line. Now let's assume we have force in this member like this, their x component will cancel each other but their y component will add up. Because we don't have any external forces to counter this force in y axis it will not be at equilibrium condition. That's why we can't have a force in this member. Try putting forces in any different way and see if equilibrium is achievable or not. Second condition is when three members form the joint and two of them are on the same line, third one always will be a zero force member if there is no external force that acts along this member. The idea behind this one, same as before, even if we have force on the two collinear members, third one is zero force because those two forces cancel each other and there is no other force to balance third member. That is why it can't have any force. But let's say we move the stage lamps to this joint. Then free body diagram will become like this. Now there is no zero force member anymore because there is a force in y direction too. Oh, I almost forgot the third condition. If you haven't already smashed the like button and haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do so, otherwise you might turn into the Zero Impact member. Nice. Now, let's solve examples related to Zero Force members. In this example, we were asked to find Zero Force members. If you remember, we had two conditions and first is when joint has two members and if they don't lie on the same line, both of them are zero force members. And second one is when there are three members and two of them are collinear, which means they lie on the same line, third will always be a zero force member. Of course, note that there are no external forces in joints. First, I look joints which have two members, they are D and H. I see that forces don't lie on the same line. And also I know that total Fx and Fy must be zero. Both of these conditions tell me that members at joint D and H are zero force members. After getting rid of zero force members, I see that E joint has also two members left that don't lie on the same line. Then members at E also will be zero force members. By the way, even if you write equilibrium equations, you will get same results. If A is pin support and C is roller support, Find one more zero force member and write your answer in comments part. In second example, we were also asked to find zero force member. Let me draw here zero force member conditions. If I start from condition 1, I see that there is no joint that has two forces or two members on it. Maybe you say that point A has two members on it, but remember A is support and there will be additional forces as well. And from second condition, I see that B has zero force member, because two forces lie on the same line, third will be zero force member. 
then join G has zero force member because after getting rid of GB member, GC member will also become zero force member because other two members that join G lie on the same line. Same conditions for these members as well. Maybe there are more zero force members in this trust member, but we were asked to find zero force member without calculations. And finally, this example is to you my friends, it is so simple and not time consuming. The question is to find joint that has zero force members. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they...